Good morning, everybody. It is uh, bright and early here as we are <laughs> so ready for our moose safari. So, my friends, <laughs> you already saw a moose coming over here. I did. I saw one within one. Dot on the map. It is. Why are we still talking about Salem, Iowa? Callie, from Salem, Iowa, who are you going to pick as your coach? In a crisis, sometimes the only thing that can sustain our hope is a caring voice and blind trust. We begin on April 7th, 1992, in North Andover, Massachusetts, where 22-year-old Kimberly Taylor was staying by herself at her parents' house while they were out of town on vacation. He said only this time that he is dead. Because she shot him. Which means the jury only has her side, they're never going to hear his. He won't take the plea. He didn't want me on the stand, how come the defense does? How are you feeling? Uh, I am really excited to meet our son. I won't allow it. You're not going to kill yourself for that fat bastard. Look, I've made up my mind, all right? Now untie me. No, I will not. How dare you make plans to abandon me? I mean, playing for jail sentences. You know, if it wasn't that the guys care so much about keeping their word, I'd call a lawyer. Or I'd call my congressman. I would do something. What are you talking about? Playing for jail sentences. When Dan Aykroyd joins his blues brother from another mother. Bingo! Plus, Katie Seagal is back. Let us know how we're doing. The Connors, all new Tuesday on ABC. We're on the ESPN app and ESPN country stars with their biggest songs and more fun with scott miller and cindy campbell on the q106.5 morning show download the q106.5 app and listen at work q106.5 you're watching fox 22 wfvx bangor linebacker cameron good 11 tackles and a sack in cows you'll ring come on <laughs> Right, Gastrich. Good to win you, huh? Any place. Break out of the box with PBS. Today on Create, breakfast in Baltimore, lunch in L.A. Major funding for Bard in the Back Country was provided by the Montana Film Office, the Gilhausen Family Foundation, the Ruth and Vernon Taylor Foundation, the Montana Office of Tourism, Friends of Montana PBS. The click of a seatbelt being released to my right, my head swiveled, and I saw him on his feet rushing into the aisle. I'd use his path all day long, I count the skips when I go skipping stones out on the old duck pond, and when my piggy banks are jingling full of quarters, nickels, dimes, I 
Excuse me, I don't play politics. Yep. I mean, how the heck am I supposed to fight City Hall, the mayor, and the attorney general without Ella's help? Hey, you know, yeah, that's right. You remind me of... Horseshoe to Cassidy Hopper with an upstate. It's Chris, Dr. Pepper, Fansville studio update. Number three, Georgia in Knoxville taking on Tennessee. Brian Maurer in his first start for the Vols today connects with Jawan Jennings, his second passing TD of the game. Put Tennessee up.